Hey there guys, Band Knights here, and just a few minutes ago, Guzmanac released a new Summer Community update for us. It's a small little update, it doesn't go through a lot, but we do get a new map overview of what the alpha map is going to be, and a little bit of new information. So let's go ahead and read this off. Summer is here in Hublox, whose first week working on APOC 2 in the Roblox offices is over. Since he is participating in the Accelerator program at Roblox, we anticipate the next two months of development to be highly productive. The first week was all about planning. We spent a lot of time assessing how close we are to an alpha release. And determining what needs to be accomplished to get us there, we did get a lot of important development work done as well. But unfortunately, I have very little I can show you at the moment. So we don't have a lot right now that's going to be shown off. Again, we do have the new overview of the alpha map, though, and a little bit of new information down here, which I'll go ahead and read in just a second. However, I'm happy to report that our latest dev build is nearly playable, which is awesome. That means alpha is getting very close. A lot of work has been done to incorporate many core features that are required for us to release alpha. and each tweaking, and there are still some major pieces missing, but we're really moving now. So they are making... A lot of progress and we're going to be definitely seeing some new changes soon which is awesome one recent change was swapping our treetops with roblox materials and you can see this in my helicopter crash iteration tweet so right here you can see we have some new tree meshes for apoc 2 so far i don't really know if i'm a big fan of them i kind of like the normal apoc trees that we already had but again this is alpha anything can change so we may or may not even see this but uh they don't look too bad they do look better than what they were Whenever we had the lighthouse demo a few months ago, I think they do look a little nicer now. Uh, and there's more variations of them. We'll see soon enough. But here's the helicopter crash for APOC 2. You can see it looks very awesome, very realistic. All the pieces are have come off of it. This has already been on his Twitter if you haven't seen it already. But there you go. But it does look very awesome. The map has also undergone some major iterations as we prepare for gameplay. So here is the alpha map so far. You can see here's the lighthouse and then the shipwreck that we've seen in some previous updates on his twitter we got view fort right here the observatory we have vermont crash site and hartford this is the whole entire map of what we're going to get for alpha now again this is just the alpha map so we're only going to get this one island but once apoc 2 goes through more development throughout beta and once release happens we will definitely see some more islands around the area where you'll be able to drive boats to them or swim to them and it'll be a lot larger of a map but this is just what we're getting for now which is still a pretty large map and still all the gameplay features and everything this is going to be a pretty fun map to play on i could see and so right here it says heli crash site is not planned to randomly generate for the alpha so as of now this crash site that is here is just a crash site it's just a part of the map it is not an actual random heli crash that will generate somewhere around the map and spawn in loot but then once the game is more developed maybe this won't be here anymore and it'll just be a random crash site as we have in the current apoc the town names displayed are especially subject to change so we might not even see these names for very long and they're important to the narrative of apoc 2 so we might have some bit of story going on but that is still pretty awesome there's a lot more we could show up but we're saving it for a bigger update later on down the line i would probably expect that Sometime in the next month or so, we'll probably get a bigger update. Again, Apoc's birthday is June 1st, so we might see something around this time for the bigger update, but who knows. However, there's one more big change we plan to implement that I want to bring up here. Health, hunger, and thirst and their relationship to food is going to be different. In Apoc 2's alpha, food items won't heal you directly. Instead, you'll only generate health from getting full. So, you have to have your hunger bar completely full in order to generate health in Apoc 2. So if you aren't full, you aren't regenerating health. If you are full, you will regenerate health for a period of time. While you are full and regenerating health, you won't be able to eat anything. After this period of time, your hunger bar will start decreasing normally again, and you'll be able to eat again to restart the process. I kind of like that system a little better, but I guess we'll see. It might affect PvP because normally in current APOC, whenever you don't have any blood or anything, you just start eating food to try to regenerate. So that might affect it a little bit, but it might be interesting to see. Balancing how much health you regenerate, how long it lasts, whether or not it can be interrupted or stacked, etc. will all be determined during alpha when we test this idea. We may implement a similar feature to drinking and the thirst bar, but we aren't sure yet. Overall, I like this concept. It sets medical items apart from food. It gives you an actual reason to fill up and it has limits in combat. Anyways, we want to know what you think about this change and if you have any suggestions in regard to how much it should heal you by, how long it should last, etc. So if you guys like this change, be sure to go on the Reddit and tell Guzmanac down here. You can comment or if you don't like this change, tell them and tell them why and everything. Again, this is alpha, so anything can change. So uh, go ahead and have a word for it while you can.
So, as we finish off, it just says, I know this was a shorter community update than normal, but I assure you with Hublox 2 working on APOC 2 and the Roblox offices, you guys will only benefit. Thanks for being patient and keep an eye out for more news. So, development is getting closer to a close for at least the alpha section of APOC 2. We might be seeing APOC 2 pretty soon. APOC 2 has been in development for about a year now. I'm thinking it's going to be a great alpha. They're spending a lot of time on the alpha, so I can only expect great things from them. And I hope we'll be able to play it soon. And it's going to be exciting because every time we play the alpha, there's going to be some new updates and we're going to see a lot of new things coming in and it's just going to be awesome. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. So, goodbye.